Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with all of the holiday romance releases for 2024 that are on my radar and my holiday romance TBR for the year that I have currently. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so I am so excited to film this video today. I love holiday romances so stinking much. I don't care if they're winter and Christmassy and all of those type of holiday romances. I just mean like holiday romances in general themed around any holiday, like Valentine's Day, Halloween, any themed like book holiday related. I love them so much. But of course, actual like Christmas holiday romances are my favorites. I love them so much, have read so many of them over the years, but I'm very excited for the new releases that we have this year, as well as just gonna share some other ones that are on my TV are for the year as well that I didn't get to from previous years. So I probably will have some videos to share later on of like some of my favorite kind of like Christmassy holiday romances, but not gonna lie, I've read so many. I think there's almost 200 on my Goodreads shelf. So there's a ton to talk about. So if you wanna go see more, I have like holiday romance videos that I'll post from previous years that I've shared. And I've broken them up in the past by like historical romance holiday releases, novellas, full length books, kind of like all the things. But of course each new year there's new books as well. So like there's just, there's just like a plethora of holiday romances and I just love them so much. So yeah, definitely check out my other videos from previous years as well as like I said, I will try to share some of my favorites that I read, including the ones I read last year in videos, maybe like some themed ones. I will definitely be sharing a lot on my Instagram as well. So definitely check out there as well. If you're not following me there already, you should. So let's get into it. I'm trying to keep it simple. My mind's kind of like all over the place today while I'm filming. So I'm gonna try to keep it simple and to the point. So yeah, we're gonna talk about all of the the new releases, like new 2024 holiday romance releases that are on my radar at least, as well as my like holiday romance TBR list for the year. There are 40 books here, but again, most of these are like novellas. So I feel like we could get through a ton of these. Like I plan to get through a ton of these. So I'm very excited. So let's get into it. All right. So like I said, I have 40 to talk about. So I'm going to keep it kind of simple. I don't know a ton about most of these, not going to lie. Like if it's Christmas holiday themes, that kind of will sell me alone. Like I don't always need to know all the tropes involved. Involved. If you do, I will link all the books in the description of the video and you go check them out on Goodreads because it will have all the info for you. So let's get into it. These are in no particular order. If they have released or if they're like older releases, I will let you know if their release date is coming out soon so you know. So let's get into it. All right, so first up I have My December Darling from Lauren Asher. This says it's a small town Christmas novella from her. It's coming out on November 21st and I'm very excited for this one. And this one looks really cute. So this one says Nurse and Doctor. Small town exists in Lake Wisteria, which I think is featured in some of her other books, possibly. Home for the holidays, cinnamon roll hero, best man and maid of honor. Ooh, that's fun. And ex's best friend. Ooh, that has me even more excited. So very excited for this one. And I love the whole like gingerbread themed cover. All right, and then next up, I have A Very London Christmas by Sarah Matterson. This one's on my TBR because I got the audio ALC of it. The audiobook's being released. This book has been out for a couple years, I believe. And I think it was possibly added more to or like re-edited or something. Anyways, the audiobook is coming out. And like I said, I have an advanced copy of it. So I'll be listening to it sooner than later. This author is Sarah Matterson. She also writes as Elodie Hart. So those are her two pen names. And this one I believe is Billionaire Single Dad Nanny. Christmassy romance in the UK. And it kind of goes from there. So we'll see what I think about that one. Next up I have Gifted to His Dad by Jay Wilder. This one comes out on November 21st. And I'm very, very excited for this one. I first saw this one mentioned by Jess from Peace Love Books. And I saw the cover. I saw the title. And I was like, say less immediately adding to the TBR. This one's a novella. And it says, experience just how delicious it is when your boyfriend gifts you to his stepdad. Ooh. Okay, this one sounds really, really fun. So it says, when my boyfriend Cole invited me to celebrate Christmas at his stepdad's cabin, nothing could have prepared me for what would happen next. Griffin's nothing like I pictured. Instead of a typical middle-aged man, I'm faced with broad shoulders, a muscular chest, and a jawline sharp enough to kill. Spine tingling grazes and heated glances that last too long have me feeling guilty about how my body's reacting. That is, until my boyfriend asks, asks to share me with his stepdad. Oh my god, this sounds so fun. <laughs> After the steamiest Christmas holiday of my life, everything feels perfect. This one sounds so fun. It also says note all characters meet as adults. So good to know. I'm excited for it and I cannot wait. <laughs> Next up is Mistletoe in Mind by J.R. Jenner. This one comes out on November 15th, which I think is when this video is releasing as well. So it should be out to read for the weekend. And this one I'm excited for because I read a Christmas novella from this author last year and really enjoyed it. And so I'm excited for this one as well. This author writes like characters who are older in their 30s and 40s. And I feel like the communication is better, the maturity level, like I just really love her books and want to read more. So this one says, dislike annoyance to lovers, characters in their 30s, plus size main character, he 
he's grumpy, she's the Grinch, fake dating, small town romance, British style, and a hot single dad. And it says he's a girl dad. I'm excited. Say less, gonna read it. The next one I have is The Christmas Tree Farm by Lori Gilmore. So this is the, is this book three, I believe, in her kind of like small town series. The first book was The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, and that's just very much like coded for Gilmore Girls fans, which I'm a massive Gilmore Girls fan. And so that one was a lot of fun, kind of like small town cozy vibes. And I'm just excited for the rest of the series. And this one looks so stinking cute and fun. And I'm definitely going to be reading it. So I know it's small town. I don't know too much else. I'm just excited to get into it. Next is Dancing in Lake Mistletoe by Amber Kelly. So this one comes out on November 14th. So it'll be out by the time this video is out. And this one I have read quite a few of this author's small town books before. So I think this one exists in her Lake Mistletoe series, possibly in one of her small town series. This one says the heroine is a ballet dancer from New York City, currently in Lake Mistletoe, Idaho, to perform as the Sugar Plum Fairy and the Nutcracker at a ski resort. After my breakup with my boyfriend, I needed a break from my fast paced life. And this quiet snow covered town seemed like the perfect escape. Staying at the Gingerbread Inn. Oh my god, that's so cute. Feels like stepping into a holiday postcard. However, what really catches me off guard is Dutch. Dutch is the electrical engineer working on the sets and he's a single dad to his adorable little daughter who loves ballet as well. Okay, I don't need to read anymore. This sounds adorable and I can't wait to read it. All right, another super cute cover and another author that I love is Lulu Moore's Once Upon a Christmas Tree. This one looks so cute. This one comes out on November 15th. So it'll be up when this video is live as well. This one says it's four brothers escaping England, has an annual gingerbread competition, holiday antics. He helps her when she's busy, cozy dates, local Christmas tree seller, an English aristocrat, he spends money to prove to her he doesn't hate Christmas. This one sounds like a lot of fun. It also says that this is a full-length novel, just a little shorter than the author's other books, and it is going to be a prequel to a brand new series coming in 2025. So that sounds super fun. I'm excited to get to it. All right, and then I have some from Beverly Jenkins. So recently I read one of her like holiday, actually Halloween novellas, and I didn't realize she had all these like contemporary holiday novellas out there. So this one is I'll Be Home for Christmas, and it's giving just very like cute Hallmarky type cozy Christmassy contemporary temporary vibes and I'm here for it so I can't wait to read it this year and then I also grabbed her other one which is This Christmas Rivalry again Beverly Jenkins she is my historical romance queen and I'm excited to read some of these like contemporary holiday cutesy looking novellas from her they look like they're perfect for like holiday hallmarky movies I'm here for it and I cannot wait. All right, another one that just came out this past month is Axes and O's by Kayla Grouse and this one is an MMF romance I know it's going to be super spicy I know this author delivers on the like kind of emotional connection to the the characters as well as the spice. She always delivers on plus size characters as well. I believe in here we're following a married couple and I want to say they're lumberjacks and then the other hero ends up getting snowed in with them and it's kind of like a bisexual awakening for him and he wants to become their third and so it kind of goes from there and it sounds like a fun time so I can't wait to check this one out. I'm actually going to get to it soon because the audiobook is coming out soon and I just got the audio ALC so I can't wait. All right another one that I'm excited to get to and I'll be getting to it sooner than later because I got the audio ALC for this one as well because I'm on the author's arc team is December Midnights by Victoria Wilder. I fell in love with Victoria Wilder's writing this summer with Bourbon and Lies, one of my favorite books of the year. It is a small town, romantic suspense, so, so good. And so I'm very excited for honestly anything that she has written. I want to read all of her books now. And so this one is coming out on November 25th. So this is a holiday novella she's already had that existed, but it's just now getting an audiobook. So this is holiday novella, grumpy sunshine, soulmates, practical magic vibes, small town with a bit of magic. So this one sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so then a historical romance holiday release is The Duke Who Despised Christmas by Scarlett Scott. This one comes out on November 14th. I'm very excited for this one. I love Scarlett Scott's historical romances. So I do have high hopes for this one. I also absolutely love the cover. I think it's so pretty. So hopefully I love it and I can like buy a physical copy of it because it is stunning. So this one, let's see, it is Enemies to Lovers, Age Gap, Grumpy Sunshine, Beauty and the Beast vibes, and then class difference romance between a housekeeper and the Duke. So I'm very excited. Love all of those things. <laughs> all right, and then out on November 15th is Elfa Maze to Lovers by Jennifer Chipman. This author has really cute, I feel like, holiday themed reads. She had some like Halloween ones recently and this is her Christmassy one. So let's see what it says it's about. All right, so the tropes are faded mates, frenemies to lovers, a secret identity, there's only one bed, a Christmas bucket list, and it's a spicy Hallmark Christmas. That sounds really cute. I think the heroine in here, yes, is the heroine is the head elf at Santa's Christmas land and I never expected to be butting heads with the new executive or going on a date with him, but when he asked me to go home with him for Christmas, I surprised myself by saying yes. Oh, and he's from the North Pole and apparently I'm an elf. So that sounds really cute. The hero's name is Teddy Claus. Like, 
This one sounds like a lot of fun. On November 29th is The Christmas List by Marin Moore. This is part of her Strawberry Hollow kind of Christmassy novella series. This will be the third one in the series. I've read the first two. Book one was okay. Book two I really loved. And then book three, I am excited for that one. So let's see what it's about. Second Chance, Small Town, A Forced Proximity, Hallmark with Spice, and A Single Dad Romance. Ooh. Okay, very excited. I think the covers for these are really, really cute. And the whole like stack together of the three books looks really adorable. So I'm excited to check this one out as well. All right, we have a new release that just came out, I think, last month from Timothy Janofsky. So I read one of their holiday romances, maybe two of theirs, I think, in previous years. This is their newest. It's an MM romance, and the cover is so cute. So this says, The First Gay Santa and the Merriest Mister. And I didn't even say the name of the title. Sorry. This is The Merriest Misters. This has an energetic elf sidekick, North Pole magic, marriage and trouble. Ooh, okay. Closed door, but lots of Santa-based dirty talk. So I love that. It says, This is my queer magic and trouble spin on the Santa Claus in a campy sleigh ride through angst love and acceptance and it sounds so adorable and I love when like authors will tell you it's closed door because like I don't mind closed door but I'd rather know what I'm getting into, you know what I mean? So this one sounds like a lot of fun. All right, another one that's coming out in November. So on November 23rd is Snowed Under by Juliana Smith and let's see what this one's about. Okay, Opposites Tracked Romantic Comedy, where a reserved single aunt and a confident children's ski instructor partner together in an attempt to save a local ski lodge. Okay, this sounds so cute. I think this is a full-length book. Possibly it doesn't say. So it doesn't say the length of the book, but I'm thinking it's full length, possibly. We'll see. It says it's a cozy, feel-good vibe, a small town, single mom, fake dating, workplace, opposites attract, holiday rom-com that reminded this person's review of a Hallmark movie. So sounds really cute. And I like the cover as well, which is like the snowboard ski goggles. I love a ski resort setting. So it sounds like a lot of fun. All right. And then we have a Christmas Sweater Weather by Jacqueline Snow. I was sent this one from the publisher from Forever. So thank you so much to them for sending me this finished copy. This one is a new release I want to say and let's see it says Christmas is both naughty and nice when a single dad and his best friend's sister celebrate with some secret romance and festive fun okay that sounds like a lot of fun so the hero is her older brother's sexiest sin best friend and ever since that mortifying night when he flat out rejected me she has been avoiding him that sounds cute this Christmas season they're thrown together at a snowy ski resort another ski resort yes please for her brother's bachelor party, complete with mistletoe, cozy fireplaces, and adjoining rooms. Okay, okay. The hero is a full-time single father and has a high-pressure college coaching job, so a romantic relationship is off the table for him, but he's fought his attraction to her for as long as he can. A one-night stand is starting to sound like a good idea, as long as her brother never finds out. Ooh, but with two long weeks until the wedding, hiding their growing feelings is going to take a Christmas miracle. Stop it right now. This sounds perfect, and why do I want to read it, like, right now? Sounds so cute. Oh my god, look at the cute chapter headings, which is like the little details. I love like some little Christmassy details in books. So cute. This one sounds like a lot, a lot of fun, so I can't wait. All right, and then there's an entire Under the Mistletoe holiday collection that is coming from five romance authors. They're all novellas. They're going to be on Audible, but you can get them on KU with the Read and Listen feature, which I'm definitely doing. Going to be downloading every single one of these on November 12th when they all release so that I can listen to the audios. And I love a novella and I love all these authors. So let's see. First up, we have Merriment and Mayhem with Alexandra Belfleur. Then we have All by My Elf, Olivia Dade. We have Cruel Winter with You by Allie Hazelwood. Only Santa's in the Building by Alexis Daria and then Merry Ever After by Tessa Bailey. So I'm excited for all of these and I will just binge them all. So that's five holiday novellas right there to knock out when they come out on November 12th. All right, and then we have Meddling with Mistletoe by Liz Johnson. This one just released in September of this year. This one is part of a Prince Edward Island Dreams series. So I've never read this author before. So this one says that the heroine is preparing to enter culinary school in the spring, but first she has to sell enough homemade pies at the local Christmas market to pay her tuition. When her oven breaks, she ends up asking somebody else, the proprietor of the Red Door Inn, if she can use the inn's kitchen to keep up with her orders. So she gets approval to do that. And in return, she has to watch the three children there and cook breakfast for the Red Door Inn guests. The inn is busy with holiday guests, blah, blah, blah. What's happening here? And I think the hero is possibly the owner's single nephew, I think. This is a very complicated blurb, but I think that's what I got out of it. So it sounds cute and fun. I love like a cooking kind of situation and especially like at an inn on the holidays. It sounds so cute. All right. And then in recent release, this one just came out in October. This is Love You Latka by Amanda Elliott. So this one takes place around Hanukkah and it says that snow is falling, holiday lights are twinkling, and Abby Cohen is pissed. For one thing, her most annoying customer, Seth, has been coming into her cafe every morning with his sunshiny attitude determined to break down her carefully constructed emotional walls. And as the only Jew on the tourism board of her Vermont town, Abby's been charged with planning their Hanukkah festival. Unfortunately, the 
the local vendors don't understand that the story of Hanukkah cannot be told with light up plastic figures from the nativity scene. First of all, her name's Abby Cohen and his name is Seth. Seth Cohen, what? All right, desperate for support, Abby pulls out a call for help online and discovers she was wrong about being the only Jew within 100 miles. There is Seth. As it turns out, Seth's parents have been badgering him to bring a nice Jewish girl home to New York City for Hanukkah. And if Abby can survive his irritatingly handsome smiles, he'll introduce her to all the vendors she needs to make the festival a success. But over latkes, donuts, and winter adventures in Manhattan, Abby begins to realize that her fake boyfriend and his family might just be igniting a flame in her own garden heart. So it sounds like he's sunshiny, she's grumpy, maybe fake dating, maybe not, but they have to work together and it sounds really cute. So I think I have the audio from Libby for this one, so I want to check it out. Another new October release is How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. I actually ended up just treating myself to a copy of this one, so it's on the way to me in the mail and I can't wait because I think the cover is adorable. I don't need to know too much about this one. It's Megan Quinn. It's gonna be like rom-com hijinks and like a fun time. I'm excited to get into it. I've heard great things about it. And it just sounds like perfect and funny and charming for the season. So yeah, I can't wait for that one. Then we have Make the Season Bright by Ashley Herring Blake. This is their newest release. This one came out, I think in September or October. I did read this one, it wasn't my favorite, but like other people might love it. So I definitely wanna recommend it because I do love this author's writing. So this is a second chance romance. It's a sapphic, it's holiday setting where they end up at kind of like the same house together celebrating the holidays and they have to go through some of their left behind feelings because basically in here one of the heroines left the other one at the altar and it goes from there. Second chance holiday sapphic. I do love this author's writing. Then we have Mary and Moose Falls by Emily Silver. So I really enjoy this author's writing and they're just always like cute and fun. Let's see what this one is about though. So it says Mary and Moose Falls is a holiday novella and it has friends and lovers by awakening. It's an MM romance and a holiday romance. Sounds fun and this cover is really cute. I believe this one's just like the arc edition and then like the actual cover reveal is coming soon. But this one's like really cute on its own too. So yeah, this one is out on November 21st. All right, and then another one that is actually out already is If This Was a Movie by Morgan Elizabeth. So this is Single Dad Nanny, forced proximity. He keeps a list of the things she loves. It has life-size meets enchanted vibes for the movie vibes. Totally here for that. Second chance, holiday, forced proximity, single dad, one night stand, meddling siblings, small town. Sounds like a lot of fun. Actually one of Morgan Elizabeth's other holiday romances, Tis the Season for Revenge, is one of my all-time favorites. I loved it so much a couple years ago when it came out, so I'm very excited for more like holiday ones from her. All right, then there's a whole collection of four holiday romances coming from these like four romance authors. So it's the Sugar Peach resort and spa series I think. So they all come out on different days. The covers are so cute. So on November 22nd is a naughty list for Christmas by Kat Summers. This one says workplace romance, newly single heroine, grinchy hero, naughty lessons, and a spicy bucket list. Then on November 29th we have My Ex for Christmas by Bobby McLaren. This one is second chance romance, small town, bartender hero, assistant to resort owner heroine. He falls first again, set in Canada and spicy. Okay. And then on December 6th we have My Rival for Christmas by Sarah E. Green. And this one is sports romance, rivals to lovers, ice skating, which the ice skates on the cover are so stinking cute. Both main characters are athletes, snowed in, only one bed, hate to love from the heroine side. It's always been you from the hero side and banter for days. It sounds so cute. December 6th. And then on December 13th, the last one in that series is A Billionaire for Christmas by Adeline J. McLeod. This one is billionaire romance, fake dating, baker heroine, Brazilian hero, failed one night stand, age gap, he's her boss, grumpy sunshine, where she's the grump. So that one sounds cute as well. All right, and then also on December 6th, it's a new one from Ann Iderson, which I love her books. And so this one is The Holiday Clause. And let me pull it up. Grumpy Sunshine, One Bed, Hallmark with Spice, Billionaire Romance, Small Town, Brother's Best Friend, Age Gap. Sounds so cute. Her cover is adorable and I can't wait for this one. Like I said, I love her small town romances and I'm very excited for this new holiday romance from her. And then a new one that was just released the other day from Ashley Munoz is a Rose Ridge Christmas. This is a Stone Riders MC novella. Very excited for because I loved this Stone Riders MC Motorcycle Club series and I'm excited for this little like holiday novella and the cover is so stinking cute. This one is out on December 6th. And on December 10th is Snowed In Bite by S.J. Tilly. So I read the other one in this series last year, which was a second bite, which was a really cute like holiday baking novella. And this one is the second one in the series and I'm excited for it. So I can't wait. That's on December 10th. And then lastly, we have Matchmaking Under the Mistletoe by Holly Lucky. This cover is cute. I love a pink Christmas theme, small town romance, mayor hero, tons of holiday chaos, event planner heroine, workplace, city girl, small town boy, and a Christmas novella. Yes, please. All right, I thought that was the 
end of the holiday romances, but it's actually not. So there are four more to talk about. So let's see. The next one is Snowden by Nevesa Allen. This author, I read their like really popular book, Lights Out, this past month. Love that book so, so much. That was like a darker stalker-ish romance, but I loved it so much. It was my favorite read of October. But since then, I've been wanting to read it more from this author. And she has a really big backlist and they're kind of like all over the place with tropes, genres. Like there's a, this holiday one I'm about to talk about. She also has like a mafia. I think she also has a historical romance. So very interesting and I'm excited to check out more from her. But to talk about the Christmas one right now, this is a Snowden by Nevesa Allen. This one takes place in Maine and let me see here. All right, so the heroine lives in Maine. So she knows what to expect from the long hard winters in the northern reaches of Maine. Mostly boredom and monotony, broken up with a bit of skiing or quality time spent with her family, which leaves her utterly unprepared for the arrival of the hero Benjamin, a professional athlete turned advocate in need of a break from fame. So a sports hero coming up to small townish Maine for the winter. Let's see, it says with her famous wit and special brand of self-deprecation, Ella goes on a full-blown charm offensive to coax Ben out of his shell, but with a rocky past and an uncertain future, Ben's walls are tougher to tear down than she could have ever anticipated. Once they fall, Ella and Ben have to come to terms with the potentially tragic reality of their love. Ooh, okay. So maybe it sounds a little bit angsty in here as well. We'll see what's going on with the hero's backstory. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get to that one this winter as well. All right, and then we also have The Christmas Countdown by Holly Cassidy. So this author I read, I think last winter actually, because they had, what was it, The Christmas Wager, I think was their book last year that came out. And so somebody told me they had a newer release this year as well. The Christmas Wager I thought was okay, but like, I'm down for kind of like all types of vibes for holiday romances. So let's see what this one is about. So The Christmas Countdown is a charming holiday rom-com about a young, recently heartbroken woman who is tasked by her sister to complete the advent calendar challenges in the lead up to Christmas to reignite her belief in herself, the holidays, and love again. She's given up on love and Christmas, but fate has other plans for her. All Callie wants for Christmas is to hibernate. And then let's see, it so says she's reeling from being dumped by her childhood sweetheart and under no circumstances does she want to go home for the holidays considering her ex will be right next door with his new and perfect partner. So this is like a really long blurb. So let's see. <laughs> she is officially in Grinch mode, but her meddling sister won't let her give up on life, love, and Christmas quite so easily. So her sister stages a Christmas intervention for the heroine with a homemade advent calendar challenge, cheerful tasks to push her out of her comfort zone and into the holiday spirit, inspired by a childhood tradition of theirs. So it says she reluctantly plays along, but when she comes face to face with a charming baker, ooh, who just might be the spoonful of sugar she needs, her strict rules on love and the holidays are tested. As they strike a deal to do the activities together, could the 24 little doors on Callie's advent calendar not only open one, but two closed off hearts. So that sounds fun. Well, I will probably put an audiobook hold in for that one because that's how I listened to the one last year as well. All right, and then another one that I'm actually in the middle of reading right now is The Nightmare Before Christmas by Sarah Roche. And this one, I am absolutely loving it so much. This was basically described to me as The Nightmare Before Christmas meets Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I was kind of like apprehensive about because Red, White, and Royal Blue, the book at least, it didn't really work for me, but The Nightmare Before Christmas, I love, and I was very excited for this one. It's an MM holiday romance, and it is so much fun. Honestly, like, please pick this one up this holiday season. I am loving it so much. This one is, like, quirky and cute, and it's fun, and it's just, like, ugh, it's just everything. Like, I didn't even know I needed this book, and I love it so much. So basically in here, we have kind of this, like, fantastical world. Like, it's set in contemporary. It feels very modern times, but there's, like, a little bit of a fantastical element because basically all of the holidays are royal courts. So we have like the Easter princess, one of the heroes in here is the Christmas prince, and then the other hero is the Halloween prince. And so all of these royal courts kind of exist and have like members of their family are like heirs to being Santa, for example, and things like that. And there's like this whole like political aspect to the royal courts and kind of like how holidays are handled and combined and all of those things. And it's just so much fun. So it starts off with the one hero, Cole. He is the Christmas prince and basically he is like a PR nightmare for his family. He's always making mistakes and getting into trouble in the press. And so he's kind of just like off at college doing his own thing. And then his father, who is Santa, ends up calling him home for the holidays and is like, hey, you need to come back. So he does. But when he gets there, he realizes that his father had other plans for the holiday season and basically has this whole like press release where he tells everybody that his son Cole is actually courting the Easter princess and there's going to be like a betrothal and an engagement before Christmas. But of course, that's like not the case. Cole and Iris, the Easter princess, they're actually like best friends and they have no romantic interest 
question one another, but their families and courts and on like the political side of the royal holidays like want them to be engaged. And then it gets even more complicated because then the Halloween court finds out about this and they're like, oh no, 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 no. Like a Christmas and Easter merger, that's the last thing we need. Like Christmas is already taking over all of these other winter holidays. And so they're like, we're gonna throw our hat in the ring and send the Halloween prince there to court the Easter princess. And so it's kind of like this competition for her hand supposedly, but, but it's basically just like this whole PR political aspect to the royal courts things happening. And instead the Halloween prince and the Christmas prince fall for one another. And I just am eating it up. Like I can't wait to finish it. It's just so much fun. Kind of blew me away and I'm really loving it. So definitely please go pick it up too. It's like so perfect for kind of like all holiday seasons because all the holiday courts are described and it's just, ugh, it's just so much fun. So definitely pick this one up. All right. And now we have the last one. So this is the Highland Lodge Getaway by Julie Shackman. And this one's kind of confusing because it also says it's also called the Christmas Highland Lodge. So, which I don't know if it got a name change or something. So maybe just the Highland Lodge Getaway is the audiobook version. So I don't know, very confusing there. But either way, I'm going to be reading this one. I just got the audio from Libby. So I saw this one last Christmas and meant to get to it, just didn't get to it in time. And then this Christmas, I made sure and put my Libby holds in early for some of these like Christmas reads I wanted to get to. All right, so this one says Christmas romance full of love and second chances. Lottie loves the festive season so much that she works at the incredibly successful Christmas shop in her pretty Scottish hometown. But when the shop is sold, her world is turned upside down, leaving her wondering what she'll do next. Just as she's about to give up hope on finding a new dream job, an offer comes that she can't refuse managing a set of luxury wooden cabins and opening just in time for Christmas. That sounds so cute. As she gets to work decorating the cabins and hanging lights on the fir trees, Lottie can't believe her luck. That is until the arrival of Blake, a moody but handsome hiking expert who threatens to bring down her a festive joy. So this sounds really cute as the snow falls and the fairy lights sparkle. Will work obsessed Lottie and frozen hearted Blake make their Christmas wishes come true? Sounds so adorable and I'm so excited even more so now <laughs> that I got the audio for this one because it just sounds so adorable. So I can't wait to read this one this holiday season as well. All right so I think those are all of the holiday romances on my TBR for the year and all of the new releases for 2024 that are on my radar. Like I said let me know in the comments if there are any that I missed that you are excited for or that you can't wait to read this holiday season. Let me know all the things. If you'd rather leave me an emoji in the comments and said today leave me a Christmas tree. I mean obviously so <laughs> do that. If you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so I don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!